The last thing that we need to do is we need to add some legs for the owl. You can really use whatever drawing tool you're most comfortable with. I'm just going to come over and choose the paintbrush tool. And after selecting the paintbrush tool, I'm going to come over to the brush definition menu. And if we take a look at this, you can see that we have an option of five point round and then we have 15 point round. If you go ahead and double click that, it opens up the brush options. I actually want a size of about 10 points, so I'll make that adjustment here and then you can click OK. After clicking OK, you can come down here and paint his legs. And I'll create some toes. And after creating that, you should be all set. You may want to duplicate it, so I'll come over and highlight the selection tool, click it, and then hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate it over here to the right. And now you have your complete goofy owl cartoon. So obviously this wasn't about creating a cartoon character. It was more about looking at how you could use the drawing tools that we looked at throughout the course and build something that is recognizable, like an owl cartoon. If you want to further your illustrator education and knowledge, I would suggest checking out our other illustrator title called Paths, Type, and Color, where we review in greater detail how to manipulate paths and combine shapes. We talk about typography within Illustrator, and we also talk about color in much greater detail. Once you have those skills under your belt, you would have the ability to spruce up the owl by applying gradient color values to different portions of his body. You would also have the ability to create patterns to add a little bit more texture to this illustration. So even though you don't have a portfolio piece here in terms of artwork, you can at least take the skills that you learned in this course and start drawing and creating artwork inside of Illustrator.